you haven't been unicycling through the foothills of Pikes Peak while trying to solve a Rubik's Cube, then what are you waiting for? Huh? Yeah. Especially all you atheists out there. Am I right? I think so. After all, don't you guys believe that there's no such thing as God? So, therefore, there's no purpose to life. No, there's no grand design. No, we're all just one big cosmic accident. So, like a hundred years from now, nothing that we ever did or said or even believed is going to matter. Because once we die, we simply cease to exist. That's pretty encouraging, right? Yeah. Well, I do know one thing. Life is short. And if I was an atheist, if I was an atheist, I would make sure that I spent all of my time doing really cool things. Yeah? Yeah, I'm sure not going to let some dorky Christian have more fun than me. No. And I'm not going to waste my time arguing about the Bible or arguing about the creation. That's stupid. Because I would be secure in knowing that it doesn't really matter one way or the other what anybody believes about anything. I mean, seriously, if I was to waste even just a fraction of my mental capacity trying to oppose what somebody else claims to believe, well, <laughs> that's ridiculous. That, that would mean that, that I must not really believe what I say I do. <laughs> hey! Dear Thunderfoot, it is quite flattering that you've spent so much of your time here on YouTube in an attempt to defame my character in an onslaught of some of the most juvenile insults and some of the lowest forms of attacks that I've ever seen. On top of that, you've inspired within your militant followers a hatred that can only be described as a mirror image of Nazi Germany. It should, of course, be no surprise, Thunderfoot, that your followers, who believe that they share a common heritage with earthworms, would indeed have no apprehension between harboring some of the most angry, bigoted hatred in their hearts for those who hold opposing viewpoints. Isn't it strange that what you consider to be the height of scientific discovery and enlightenment has devolved into some of the most evil and twisted, threatening and vile imaginings known to man? You won't find anything like that on my page, because I do not even allow people to post evil and wicked comments, because my worldview says that these things are indeed evil and have no place in the world. However, your worldview says anything goes. So how is it, Thunderfoot, that you would not advocate someone filing a complaint for you defaming someone's character or stealing their videos, but you would advocate someone's comment saying, yes, I'd like this person to get shot in the face. You should be ashamed of yourself. And at least now you know why I censor my channel. You do not have to see the things that I have to put up with, but you only need to look at your page to get a taste of it. Now, it's important, Thunderfoot, that you understand that I have no such malice towards you. Indeed, I've often asked you if you wanted to extend a hand of friendship to me, that you and I could collaborate and even have a dialogue so that we could come to some form of higher understanding and show our audiences a better way to have interfaith dialogues. I say interfaith because, indeed, you have as much faith as I do in the things that you believe, and, indeed, you are as militant, if not more so than myself. Indeed, this I find quite interesting, the fact that you are so angry that someone could believe something so thoroughly as to devote their lives to it, and you are so offended by it that you indeed are guilty of the exact same thing in opposition to the thing that you yourself are guilty of. Thunderfoot, again, I ask you, could we not encourage our audience, in the name of all that is right, to find a higher moral ground? Why do we have to resort to name-calling, Thunderfoot? How often have you called me an idiot? A stupid moron. How often do you do this? Every video of yours. Every video. Thunderfoot. I just don't understand. Do I threaten you that much? Thunderfoot. 
Indeed, it actually seems hypocritical in that you don't actually believe the things that you say. Indeed, the atheist which you claim to be holds a very peculiar and distinct worldview. Your worldview says that each moment is fleeting, never to be obtained again, which makes every moment more precious than all the riches in all of the universe. Because once this life expires, you never again will have the opportunity to see the beauty of the color spectrum. You will never again see the light of day. You will never again taste the wonders of sweets, or good salty steak, or the embrace of love. Indeed, Thunderfoot, if you actually believed the things that you are saying, you wouldn't spend any time obsessively and psychotically pursuing an antagonistic agenda against me. Rather, you would spend your life in the pursuit of pleasure and leave other people alone so that they too could experience the fleeting pleasures of life. Indeed, Thunderfoot, I know you don't believe this. In fact, no one truly does, which is why atheists are some of the most angry and bitter individuals on the planet, as you've quite potently demonstrated for us. Indeed, Thunderfoot, the reason you are so offended by the things that I say is because I advocate a worldview which deeply has convicted you which says that every moment in your existence, right here and right now, is not ultimately irrelevant in the big picture of things, but rather will haunt you for the rest of eternity. Now, Thunderfoot, you've also requested that I remove my account for a year, because you claim that somehow I have impeded on your rights. At the same time, you are an advocate of free speech, and yet you have no intention of allowing me to speak freely. I find this quite hypocritical again. Thunderfoot, your character reeks of this hypocrisy. Indeed, your worldview is inconsistent. Your actions are inconsistent. Everything you do seems quite bitter, fueled by some hidden agenda, a deep-seated anger that can only be explained as the Bible says. That is, you know there's a God. You hate God. You hate those who follow God. You're deeply convinced that your actions here on YouTube somehow vindicate your antagonistic and atheistic agenda. Unfortunately, they only make you look like a bigot, and further emphasize what the Bible says, that those who do not know God are given over to a depraved and reprobate mind. Here's a comment left on your channel that, unfortunately, your militant followers have marked as spam, saying, I'm starting to lose a lot of respect for you, Thunderfoot. The private message that Venom Fang X sent you seemed courteous and helpful, but you mocked it very cruelly. It could very easily have been a misunderstanding, and is your free speech war chest going to extend to the false DMCA's file against Venom Fang X? Also, what's this PCSBS interweaving your lofty free speech rhetoric in with immature name-calling? What grade are we in again? It seems that your people on your channel have no interest in common sense or human decency, only the defamation of your fellow man who supports an ideal and a higher state of morality that so deeply offends you. The only explanation is you don't believe your worldview, and that, indeed, I have convinced you of a truth that makes you so terrified that your only way to fight against it is to do anything you can within your power to control, to destroy, to defame, to insult, to mock, and ultimately wage war against the God that gave you life in the footsteps of Satan himself. Now, Thunderfoot, I know you cannot appreciate this at the moment, but it is a truth. Your videos often contain images from my videos, and you never asked me permission to use them. I am the victim here, not you. I've never made a video about you where I intended to mock you, defame your character, ask people to support a tirade against you, start some kind of antagonistic agenda against you. I've never insulted you by name-calling. I've never, I've never done any of these things, Thunderfoot. And yet, you've done all of them to me, and now you have the audacity to take it one step further and attempt to legally penalize me for having two videos of yours which contain stolen material from my channel without my permission. Can you not see how ridiculous this is, Thunderfoot? The only explanation is you are threatened, indeed, by everything that I say. You are convinced that what I'm saying is true, and you fight it with tooth and nail, and you will deny it up and down until, of course, you depart from this life and come face to face with God Almighty himself, and then the true penalization will begin as he condemns you to an eternity of suffering for the things you've done against the knowledge of the truth. So go on. File your lawsuit. Do your worst. I'm going to heaven. You should really ask yourself, Thunderfoot, are you? Best wishes, Venom Fang X.